Hi everyone, it's me Moody Boo and I am back with a perfume that I waited for much longer than I should have. Now, I got this perfume, I don't know, a week and a half ago, a week ago or something, and I had to walk away from it. And because uh, I tested it initially and wasn't super impressed, but I realized part of that was probably due to the fact that I was not happy with Fragrance Dubois and the way that they launched this perfume. Um, I, it may just be me, but I happen to know I was like one of the first people to purchase the perfume because I accidentally purchased it on that test they were doing and they said they would honor the purchase. It wasn't actually um, being released until the next day. So I know I got one of the first bottles. And then lo and behold, I go on YouTube and there's all these beautiful European ladies reviewing the perfume. I'm like, what? How is that possible? I haven't even gotten a shipping notice. So I emailed Fragrance Dubois and they're like, oh, we're going to be shipping it to the U.S. distributor very soon and then they will ship it to you. I'm like, what? You shipped it to all the European customers? before you even shipped it to the distributors in other countries? Huh? I was thinking, I, I, I'm pretty sure the US market is a little bit of their profits, but yet I felt they treated the US buyers as second class citizens. I really did. And it pissed me off. But again, I'm Moody Boo. So, and I don't like injustice and I don't like unfairness. And that was unfair, absolutely unfair. They should have sent to all the distributorships around the world. And then once everybody said, we've received them, then everybody send them out to the individuals at that time, at the same time. That way everybody would have gotten it probably within, you know, a few days, a week of each other, which is totally understandable. It was another month before I even got a shipping notice, before it was saying, oh, we're, we're shipping your bottle now. Oh, well, thanks for nothing. <laughs> it's been, you know, almost two and a half months since I purchased it or whatever. So it's really anticlimactic at this point. Um, so that's why I had to walk away from it because I don't know that I'll ever buy another fragrance to buy. I don't care who is doing a launch. Uh, I do like to support YouTube reviewers when they do a perfume, so that was really important for me to do. Now, I don't know Demi Rawlings. I don't watch her YouTube channel. I don't watch any big YouTube reviewers. You know how I feel about that. I feel like I get more sincere, less business motivated, and more service motivated reviews from um, uh, lesser known perfume reviewers. because. It seems like not all of them, but quite a few of the over 100,000 um, subscriber perfume reviewers are much more motivated about business and making money than they are about really providing a service. So I don't watch Demi. I don't watch Jeremy. I don't watch most of those people. There is a couple that I do watch, but I've known these a couple of them like uh, Jensen. I've watched him for years and years and years. So, like, subscribe, ring the bell and comment. Anywho, um, so I don't know her taste. I don't know what kind of perfume she likes. I've looked at her thumbnails and I realize there's several of the same perfumes in the thumbnails. So I know that she likes the Armani um, red one and there's another one so i expected this to have like rose in it or something um because that seems to be kind of her style so when i smelled it i was initially very surprised because i didn't look at the notes i did know that there was coffee in it 
I don't remember how I knew that, but I did know that. And so when I smelled it initially, I was a little underwhelmed. I was like, this smells like coffee, vanilla, black pepper, and isoe super. That's basically all I got. I'm like, wait, you're ticked off at Fragrance Dubois and it's probably projecting onto the perfume. So put the perfume down, walk away from it, come back in a few days. So that's what I did. And I've been working with it for the last, I don't know, five days or something. And now I appreciate it. I do initially still get that initial at the top blast of uh, coffee, vanilla, isoe super, and black pepper. Um, and specifically black pepper, because it has, has a hint of bite and it reminds me of when I'm shaking black pepper onto my eggs or something and a little bit of that dust comes up and you can smell that. It makes most people sneeze, but if it doesn't make you sneeze, <laughs> I'm making this sound so appetizing, but it's really beautiful. And I actually love the smell of pepper. And uh, so I was like, well, but this is $300 USD. <laughs> and uh, I was like, hmm, not sure yet. So I worked with it and worked with it and I really, really started liking it. I, I think it's a beautiful perfume. I don't even know what the notes are yet, but I'm gonna look. Um, it doesn't have a huge trajectory. It, it, I feel like that ISOE Super gets a little stronger. The coffee goes a little lighter. The vanilla stays pretty level. Um, and the pepper kind of goes away. For me, it becomes kind of a sweet, woody, um, uh, 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 vanilla, isoe super kind of a dry down. And that's where it stays. It's very smooth. Um, it's very polite. It's not a bee smoke kind of a perfume. But after I got this and, and reviewed this for a few days, I went on Demi's um, uh, channel and I watched a few of her videos. And I had seen a couple of her videos in the past. Once I started watching them, I was like, oh yeah, I remember her from a while back. Um, she's pretty new. I mean, she skyrocketed very quickly. So um, she's only been around, I think, a few years. But anyway, she's super cute, super sweet. Um, very polite, you know, and that's what I got from a few videos. What the hell do I know? But that's kind of what she seems like. And that's kind of, she did a good job representing herself with this perfume is what I'm trying to say, because that's kind of what it is. I'm a little surprised there isn't some rose or something in here. If there is, I don't detect it. Um, <clears throat> because it's, that does seem like she's kind of a creamy rose girl. Now, I don't know. I off of these few reviews that I watched or lists that I watched. She doesn't really do individual reviews. She does lists. Um, she uh, seems to like those creamy rose kind of perfumes and gourmandy perfumes. So this one isn't quite that. It isn't the personification of her quite. If I were to make a perfume um, of her personality, from what I know of it, I would do this Absolutely, this is beautiful. But I would also add, um, instead of coffee, I would have gone more of a creamy rose or something like that. Um, because that just seems more of her personification, her YouTube channel personification anyway. So um, this is really pretty, super unisex. Um, is it my favorite coffee perfume? I don't know. I am really crazy about Galleria's, um, you know, Ashton from Jetsense, his uh, Cognac Cafe. I'm really crazy about that one, but it's different than this one. I'll do a comparison. I'll, I'll do a battle or something, but this one is, I think, more versatile. This one is very versatile. I think you could actually wear this one year round. So I'm going to just spray it again. Oh, it's very nice. But again, I get the coffee and cream, like a, a vanilla cream, like you poured those, one of those, what you call it, I don't do cream in my coffee, it is black. Like my mood and my soul. <laughs> 
So, um, but it, it does have that kind of that vanilla creamer kind of smell like you poured it into coffee. And then you sprinkled some black pepper in there and then sprayed some Isoe Super in the air. <laughs> Just at first. It is really nice. It's really nice. It's not as gourmand as I thought at the very beginning because the top kind of gives it that gourmand vibe. But once it dries down, it gets a little more woodier. Um, uh, it's in, and I think it's that Isoe Super that I'm detecting and I'm not sure if that's in there, but that's what I get. Um, so let me tell you what's in it so that I quit bullshitting and telling you what I think instead of what I know. So let's find out what's in this. I brought up Fragrance Dubois webpage. I don't know if it's on Fragrantica. So let's learn what's in it together, shall we? So it says the fragrance opens with a subtle oriental spice note of cardamom. Huh. Oh, yeah. Okay. And pimento to spark your curiosity. Then follows an addictive heart of coffee and caramel, which draws your senses ever further into the scent. Minuet Demi will leave you with a lingering feeling of mystery as the tobacco and bourbon base envelops your senses from start to finish. Huh. I'm I'm thinking it's the cardamom mixed with something else that I'm getting that isoe super kind of a feel. I don't get tobacco. I really don't. Not at all. I can see the cardamom. The pimento, I think that's where I'm getting with the black pepper. Um, the coffee, the caramel, I think is where I'm getting that coffee creamer kind of a smell. Um, Tobacco and bourbon. I don't get boozy out of this. I really don't. Let me spray some more. It's a good sprayer too. Look at that. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I don't get boozy. There's actually a little bit of greenness in there at the top. Um, just a hint of it and it's it's really fleeting and I bet it's the pimento cardamom combo that's causing me to have this little bit of nasal schizophrenia going because I think they're kind of one is becoming more dominant than the other slightly every once in a while you know then the other rises and then the and so it's it's giving me this isoe super and black pepper kind of a vibe but the tobacco and bourbon I don't really get that. I don't get boozy and I don't get tobacco. There is an earthiness to it when it dries down, but it also, it's like, it's, it's at its most dense the first hour that you wear it. And then it, it's, it, I guess that's why I think of Isoe Super because um, it, it becomes aromatic almost. It just starts, it starts like lifting from the skin and and becoming a little more ethereal out in the edges. Whereas when you first spray it, that first hour, it has a much firmer, much thicker defined line, but it's a little closer to you. And as it goes on, it kind of uh, comes up and out and it the edges feather a little bit. Does that make any sense? But that's, that's what I visualize, that's what I think of when I wear this. And I've worn this quite a bit, I don't think you can tell. But I made a bit of a dent. Oh, there's something on the back. Now it just says, an original fragrance to Bois. And I do love the bottle, I will say that. This is a 100 ml, I think. It's bigger than my uh, Oud Orange Intense. Yep, 100 ml. Yeah. So, um, Performance is good, but like I said, it is polite, so it's not a beast mode projector. You could wear this to a variety of functions without any problems. You could wear it day or night. Um, I think it could definitely be a work scent, but why waste it on work? Because it can also be a night scent. And that is where I think formal occasions you could do fun, um, kind of festive 
occasions as well, but I think you'd need to give it a couple more sprays. I usually do two sprays. With this one, I'm not, I'm not opposed to doing three or four. There's no problem. It doesn't go whammo or become a nose rocket or anything. So you're totally safe to overspray with this. Um, but it's bendy, so weigh it, you know. But I, I just feel it's a formal scent. And at the same time, it's versatile enough to where you could wear it for a multitude of occasions. And that part of it makes it very much worth the price. Any really versatile perfume for me, I'm happy to pay a little more for because it's, it's going to be one of those mindless perfumes that when I don't want to think about, you know, I don't have time to stand in front of my shelf, one of my shelves um, full of perfumes and like I like to do and, and, and categorize, what do I feel like today? A vanilla, a sandalwood, a, you know, and then narrow it down that way. Um, it's, it's a fun thing for me. I really enjoy doing that. But when I don't have time, I have a table of just mindless perfumes. Perfumes that are so good for any occasion and I can still purchase them. So it's not like they're a discontinued one or one that I covet. Um, I can just grab it, spray it and go. Doesn't matter what time of day, night, what time of year, what occasion. And that's this perfume. And that's rare. I don't have many of those. Um, actually, Molecule One, Biocentric Molecules, is one of them. But I don't have many of these. They're kind of a unicorn in that regard. Because uh, most perfumes, you know, lean more towards um, night or day or and time of year. This one too, any time of year, I think you are just fine. I can't wait to try this in the heat, as a matter of fact. I think it'll be beautiful. Some of them lean, you know, a little more towards cold weather or warm weather or day or night or formal occasions or, you know, festive or, you know, whatever, or male or female, you know, not this one. I will give it that. And for that reason, for me, it is worth the price. Absolutely. And the bottle's pretty, pretty too. And I'm supporting another YouTuber, which I really appreciate. Even though I started reviewing when she was a baby. <laughs> so there is that. And it's a beautiful perfume. It really is. And I'm super glad I have it. I think I heard, did somebody tell me or was it in... Ah, I don't remember, but I want to say they're relaunching this. Oh, maybe it was on Fragrance to Boss website. But I think they're relaunching it. So you can get it. Again, it's like $300 USD. And I don't think next time if you purchase it, it will take you two or three months to get it. I seriously doubt what happened with this last one will happen again. I'm hoping that Fragrance Dubois learned their lesson. Fragrance Dubois is a really good house. That's why I'm really shocked that they screwed the pooch. I don't know what happened. And they're a big enough house where I can speak my mind. It's not gonna affect anything. So it's not like an indie house or anything like that. Fragrance Dubois can handle my criticism. So it's a beautiful perfume. Would I go through all of it again to get it? Hmm. Um. Bah. If it stayed a uh, limited edition to where it was rare and I had one of only, you know, what is it, 500 bottles or whatever it was that was launched, then I would say yes. I would do it again. But now that I know that it's going to be coming out again and again and again, it's a little less special. So I have to say that because you know I'm a sucker for a limited edition, especially if they're numbered. So it's a gorgeous perfume. I am glad I have it. It is worth it for me, but you're going to have to weigh it for yourself. So all righty then. Well, I guess that's about it. And I appreciate you being here. As you can see, I'm back to my phone. I don't understand my camera. Oh, it. So, 
it won't let me film past 10 minutes or so many megabytes before it cuts it into another, starts another, you know, video. And then the two don't match. It's like one I look like, uh, you know, something out of The Walking Dead. And then the other one, I look like Pollock tried to turn me into one of his paintings. Splotch, 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 splotch. So, ah, frustrated. That's this face. So, um, I got to figure it out. I don't know. Maybe there's YouTube videos out there that will, you know, there's a video out there for everything. So I'm hoping somebody else had this problem and will explain it to me why I can't use a better camera than my phone, but my Note 10 is old reliable. So you're just going to have to deal with that for a while. <laughs> so anyway, is that it? Did I, did I hit everything? Um, I got, ooh, uh, more reviews coming up. I think I said in the last video that, uh, that I just filmed today, which was, what was it? Oh, it was a tag video. Show me your dent. I, I, no, I didn't. I filmed that yesterday. Sorry, having a little some timers moment. So I just got Jean-Paul Gaultier's La Belle Les Parfums and, oh, whoa. Yeah, I'll be talking about that. Oh, I'll be talking about that real soon. So I hope you join me for that. I have another one from Dossier, which is the perfume house that has a really cool program where they send you a decant. You pay the 30 or 40 bucks for a full bottle. Don't get into the bottle. Go into the decant. Spray that. If you like it, keep it. If you don't, send it back. Free shipping and get your money back. So I got one of those coming. I also have a couple more reviews. I got to work with them a little more from Beaucheron. And uh, this one is Oud de Carthage. And this one is Santal de Candy. So um, just started working with this one. Haven't even tried this one yet. So get into those too. I really like them, Beaucheron. It's a weird thing because some of their perfumes I can't stand. So thank you again for being here and I hope you come back. And don't forget to like and subscribe and ring the bell and comment if you want. If you don't, it's all good. I still love you. Use your own nose. Peace.